Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing the eight box inner case break of 2017 Panini Illusions football. This is pick your team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is great because it gets us one step closer, and Immaculate just sold out too. Gets us one step closer to giving away those extended Black Friday promo prizes. We extended it for you guys. We only have two breaks left Panini Ascension Basketball, and then we can give away this. So. But let's start with this first. So this is break four. So Nick busted open break three, and he marked this pick your team four so we know it's from the same master case. And a big, big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action on a Monday. Thanks for joining us on Cyber Monday. Appreciate that. All right, let's pop this guy open, and let's see what we got. All right, so just as a reminder, there's the all the boxes right there. Just as a reminder, we should expect two autographs and two memorabilia cards, plus one autograph memorabilia card per box on average. So good luck to everybody. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for helping us uh, fill that Black Friday promo, which is pretty exciting. A lot of big prizes to give away. There's the box bottomer. I like the illusion set. I, I like how there there's like some comparisons there. By a time we would I would uh I would spend a little more time on the copy. It would make the video too long, but whenever you receive these cards, be sure to take a look at them. I think they're pretty interesting. All right, good luck, box number one. Start off with Brandon Cooks. Nice Evan Ingram. I like getting these blank cards. Like I, I like taking notes on them and drawing on them and whatnot. <laughs> Clear shots, Lawrence Taylor. And first impressions, Alvin Kamara. Out of 199, who's been having a nice season. Alvin Kamara has been having a great season. I think a couple people, I think Callum was one person who was asking earlier, is Alvin Kamara just a, is he the real deal or is he a flash in the pan? What does everyone think? There's Carlos Henderson for the Broncos. First impressions, jersey and auto. Going to uh, Luke with the Broncos. Luke. There's the Sean McCoy, and there's the other autograph. There's Fabian Moreau, rookie endorsements, 109 out of 150. For the Redskins, that'll go to Michael Gallucci. Ryan is saying, in the Saints system, he is the real deal. We'll randomize these uh, left or right, by the way. Unless they're serial numbered, then they'll be those will be randomized separately. First impressions, Wayne Gallman. Oh, in case there's any points cards that come out, I don't think there's too many, if any. But what we do now, if there are multiple points cards pop out, we randomize them as one lot. So one person will get all the points. So just FYI. There's Living Legends, Drew Brees, a living legend indeed. And there's Ryan Switzer, 107 out of 150. The speedy Ryan Switzer for the Cowboys de Grouche with the boys. Nice, 
that was box one. Box topper. Shaw is saying, as a Saints fan, I'm seeing flashes of uh, David Johnson. Minus a little size. Minus some size. There's Amari Cooper. My boy Amari Cooper compared to Tim Brown. That's a nice comparison. I hope that works out for Amari Cooper. That goes to my Raiders. Who has my Raiders? John Okre with the Raiders. Cruz says, when the draft was over, I, did, I didn't laugh at you, did I? I just didn't really see it happening. You know, with, with Adrian Peterson there, with Ingram there. But you're right. I mean, I don't know if I laughed at you, but I think I laughed at that prospect. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, everything went right for Alvin Kamara. Um, Saints, yes. Michael Gallucci, you do have the Saints. But I think a lot had to go right for Alvin Kamara to, to get those chances. And, well, you know, Adrian Peterson didn't work out. Ingram still looked good. You know, it still is looking good. And Kamara got the touches, got the reps, and that's that's what happened. Yeah, you might be right. I just thought it would be a tall order. That's probably why I laughed at it. I mean, yeah, I mean, Dalvin Cook, I think, projected a little bit better than, than Alvin Kamara. Kareem Hunt started off the season really great. Leonard Fournette is still in the, you know, in the mix, but there's the bus. There's James Conner, 6 out of 10. Right, because it was all about Cook. You know, and, and Fournette, too. Nice one for the Steelers. That'll go to Jackie, who has the Steelers. Clear shots insert. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? You like that compared to Joe Theismann. And for the Colts, Quincy Wilson. 81 out of 100. Keeping it 100 with the Colts is Brian Crouch. Nice. S-Man, what is going on? I see you. How are you? Hope your uh, Thanksgiving went well. There's Ezekiel Elliott, E-Z-E, -E. three out of 15. Nice one for DeGruche and the boys. First impressions, Jeremy McNichols. Not that great of a first impression, I guess. Not there anymore. That could, still goes to the Buccaneers and Adam Kupperman, though. Oh, the redemption. How could I forget? Uh, we've got Illusions, First Impressions, Memorabilia Autographs, Card 119. It's Taiwan Taylor for the Titans. Rick with Tighten Up. Hey, you're welcome to Grouche on that easy E. I'll leave these out here too, so I remember to randomize them. But yeah, Jim McKee, you're right. I, I I feel like there's a lot of great um a lot of great running backs out there. I mean, what'll be interesting is not who wins rookie of the year, but where these running backs are gonna be at like within like what, three, five, three to five years. There's Jared Goff, sixteen out of twenty five. Kind of does look like Kurt Warner and The Greatest Show on Turf. Redux, part two. Seems to be looking pretty good. Rams, that'll be for Luke. Luke Lombardo with that one. Luke. Use the false, Luke. All right. Next box. 
Yeah, I kind of like the encased toppers. I sort of wish that they were like maybe an autograph or maybe a little bit lower numbered, but I'm kind of liking how they just gave, they're like, here, here's, here's an encased, you know, parallel for you. Appreciate it, you know? I do like that. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's like, shouldn't it be called a box bottomer? Oh, you can get an auto in one of those, but it's really, really rare. Okay, I see. Oh, Nick did pull one the other day? Oh, that's pretty sweet. I, I feel like, Jordan, I feel like there has to be a story behind it. There's always funny, there's always like fun production stories, you know what I mean? When you see things like that, you know? I'll have to ask someone. I'll try to get, I'll, I'll get back to you on that story, you guys. What is going on here? All right, there you go. There's Le'Veon Bell. I don't know where I was going with that. There's Brian Urlacher. These will be one of those cards that I'll randomize left and right. And there's first impressions. Cooper Cup, who has made a pretty good first impression this season. Uh, that's uh, Luke. Luke again with the Rams. Another uh, relic right there. Spotlight memorabilia. Ezekiel Elliott. Now, DeGroosh saying that the uh, Cowboys are a gift for a friend of his. That's a very nice gift. That Ezekiel Alec could go with that autograph as well. We got Tredavious White for the Bills. 26 out of 50 for Buffalo. Luke, Luke with the Bills. And we've got Samaj Pirine. Nice, one out of 25, two color patch and autograph. I'll go to Michael, Michael Gallucci and the Redskins. And the other autograph is Carl Lawson for the Bengals. That'll be for Luke. Luke having a great break. Topper. Ryan's still looking for the uh, Dalvin Cook and Adam Thielen. He needs to see that happen. All right, we've got Patrick Chung and Ty Law. 12 out of 25. Patriots with that encased card. That'll be for Karen. Karen. There you go, Karen. What was I doing? What was I going to do? Toss that box away? All right, next box. We're making some pretty good time here. Should uh, this is like a this is a pretty quick break. It's a half hour break. We'll be done with this in about another fifteen minutes or so, and then we'll do uh, immaculate football right after this. So stay tuned for that. Don't go anywhere, folks. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial, is what they used to say on the radio. I don't think they say that anymore. Do, what they say nowadays on the radio is, you can podcast this stream, podcast this live show on the iHeart Radio app or on iTunes. 002 out of 100, and that goes to Davius White. Times they are changing, ladies and gentlemen. Next thing you know, it'll be 2018. That's crazy talk. What are these about? Matching numbers? Oh, I see. 
I haven't, I haven't really paid attention to these. Oh, I see what they're doing here. I get it. We got Derek Rivers. 196 out of 250 for Karen and the Patriots. Jeremy Terrell, yes, we are almost there with our extended Black Friday promo. We're almost done. All we need to do is Ascension, basically. Ascension, two breaks of Ascension basketball, which at this point, everyone should be well motivated to do, and then done. We're giving away prizes. And that's a sexy hit. Kenny Galladay, Kenny G. That's how he autographs it, for reals. Shaw is making a request for Immaculate already. What do, what do I need to get you? An Immaculate? Camara? Lattimore ink and some breeze? Just throwing a breeze while I'm at it? That'd be a nice break. I can, I can try to make that happen. There's the famous right here. Spotlight memorabilia for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. And the patch auto is nice. Evan Ingram. Jersey and auto for the New York Football Giants. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. One of the brighter spots for the New York Football Giants. There's Ronnie Lott, OJ Howard, and Jay Ajayi, Dolphins edition. All right. Now, it is a thought that counts. I want to pull big hits for everybody, and unfortunately, these cases don't cooperate. We've got Luke Keekley and Kevin Green. 31 out of 100. Nice. All right, second half of the case. How are we feeling about this illusion set, ladies and gentlemen? I'm. I've only done a couple breaks of this, but I think most of you have seen all four breaks between me and Nick doing these breaks. What do you think? I kind of like it, actually. I think I'm a fan of it. I think this is the first year they did it, so I'm looking forward to seeing um, how this product evolves over over the coming years. You know what I mean? Yeah, for a new set, John Oakley's like, for a new set, I really like it. Yeah. I mean, you guys should look at what Spectra looked like you know, before in like 2013, you know what I mean? They, compared to what it looks like now, it's made a lot of changes. And I think it's it's funny, to, it's interesting to see how these products, what they'll turn into. Uh, Alyssa, we are getting prison basketball. I don't know when it's going to be listed. Is that coming out this Wednesday? Probably the night before, tomorrow night maybe? Or maybe the morning of. Uh, see, there are the points. I was talking about how we're going to, Combine them, combine any and all points into one for one winner. Winner takes all points, I guess. That's the, I suppose that's the easiest way to say it. There's Dangerous. Seahawks doing their usual. We're going to heat up at the end of the season. They're looking good. Niners, Jersey and Auto, Joe Williams. The X line with the Niners. Oh, Prison Basketball pushed to, fri oh, to Friday, then probably Thursday night. Or Friday morning. We've got a randomizer here. Juju Smith-Schuster for the Steelers and D.D. Westbrook. 21 out of 25. Uh, for anyone who watched that Jaguars game, did D.D. Westbrook put in any work? I know they've been losing some receivers there in Jacksonville, so. Set that right there. It's this right here. Oh, nice. Two out of 50. Priest Holmes, Kareem Hunt. Sweet Kareems are made of these. Kareem Hunt, sharp start to the season, has tailed off a little bit, but so have the Chiefs. So have the Chiefs. The X line with that. I feel like if, uh, if Kareem Hunt closed out the season with a few strong games, I'm thinking that 
we're going to see his value return a little bit. There's Gerald Everett for the Rams. That is for Luke. Luke, I am your father. Can't wait for Star Wars. Definitely nerd out on Star Wars. Uh, oh, just a heads up, by the way. I'll probably, on the night of st like the Star Wars release, I'll probably leave here early to catch like some sort of midnight release or something like that. So just FYI. All right, what do we got here? Some more Steelers. There's Le'Veon Bell and Jerome Bettis. 97 out of 100. There you go. Steelers, that'll be for Jackie for the Steelers. Steelers, was that game ever in danger, Steelers fans? Were you guys worried about that game against the Packers? Packers look good. Brent Hundley looks like they're coming into the coming into his own a little bit. You know, he's looking better and better each week. Oh, you're welcome, Jackie. But Steelers look to be a pretty after a weird start to their season, they seem to be a pretty complete team. Gallucci says no. We had it all along. All right. All right. It was never, never in doubt. Never in doubt. No one was worried. I'm just glad the Packers covered. For the Niners, Carlos Hyde. 78 out of 150 for the X line. There you go, nice one, Josh. There's Chad Hansen to catch a pass. 80 out of 250. That goes to Adam. Yeah, Adam and the Jets gets his Jets. There's Jordy Nelson. J.J. Watt, Jamal Adams, and there's a relic right here. There is Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, for the Dirty Birds. That'll go to Chris Wilson. Okray saying, nah, it's because the Packers had a running game last night, but he knew the Packers would lose, <laughs> just didn't know how they would lose it. Mac Hollins, out of 100. Return of the Mac, Philadelphia Eagles. That'll go to Jackie and the Eagles. Jackie, you got the uh, Pennsylvania teams. There. there is CJ Bethard, Jersey and Auto, although this is future, maybe in a little bit of danger with Jimmy Garoppolo. Niners, though, that'll go to the X line. All right, two more boxes to go, boys and girls. Then we have Immaculate coming up. And we have Bob, Marcus Mariota, and Warren Moon. 53 out of 100. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Nice one, Titans. Rick with the Titans. Michael saying our secondary made Hundley look way better than he is. I think Hundley's okay, though. I think people forget how, how well he did with, uh, with UCLA. You know, his career progression has been a little bit quieter and slower than some of the other you know, more high-profile picks, but yeah, he's good with his feet. All Gray is saying, can run, can throw, just needs some experience. Cold weather experience would help him as well. But I, th I think he could be okay. Now, 
obviously it's going to be a tall order to replace Aaron Rodgers, but if Aaron Rodgers was able to replace Brett Favre, we'll see. You're welcome, Rick. S man saying, the people in this town of Cincinnati, where where he where Scott's at, uh, think they are world beaters now since they beat the only team worse than themselves. What are are are, are chests puffed out a little bit in Cincinnati, Scott? <laughs> since they since they've won the Battle of Ohio, they're crowing a little bit. They're like we're back. Well, they, they, most around, wow, Scott's like most around. I see, I, I like getting these news reports, these reports from the field, as I like to call it, from the different places where you guys live. So, so people out there in Cincinnati, apparently, got chest puffed out a little bit. They're, they're, they're thinking they're back on track. Well, they did look back on track, you know, which is, which is good. Um. Oh wait, hold on, Scott. Who are you a fan of? Then you can't. He says he can't stand the Bengals. Yeah, I mean the Bengals have had a weird season too. I feel like the Bengals look like a great team on paper, but Let's slide that over there. Oh, you are a fan of the Bengals, right? So that's what I thought. Oh, you're just not happy with the team right now. I see, I see. Yeah, I mean, if, if it doesn't work out this season, and it really hasn't been, I think uh, I think they may have to, yeah, they may have to just kind of blow it up, right? You may just have to be like, hey, let's just, let's just start it over. There's McMillian. Yeah, maybe, yeah, give give A.J. McCarron a shot, you know, move Andy Dalton along while he's still at a good age. You know what I mean? Maybe someone else. I mean, plenty of people need quarterbacks, right? Maybe Andy Dalton could use a fresh start somewhere else. Wow. Look at this. Dual relic, dual autograph, Leonard Fournette and D.D. Dee Dee Westbrook. 17 out of 20. Jordan Hope. Who, who, who's, I don't think I've called out your number all break, Jordan. And now, boom, Jaguars. That is nice. I didn't quite get it. You, you can't contain Leonard Fournette. You, can, <laughs> you can't stop Leonard Fournette. You can only hope to contain him. The sticker could not contain him, though. We saw one where it was perfect inside the sticker. But there you go. Congrats, man. Uh, the Juice, O.J. Howard. Yeah, Jordan's like, there we go. There we go. No, we saw one, Kyle, remember? On Wednesday. You were there. I'm pretty sure you were there because we were both, our jaws both kind of dropped a little bit. There's C.J. Beathard again. That's another one for X-Line. He's starting a C.J. Beathard PC, whether he likes it or not. There's Coop. I guess with Crabtree suspended for a couple of games, Coop may need to step up a little bit. Kyle Kramer says uh, he he was he was enjoying some adult beverages, so he may not quite remember that. I'm pretty sure you were in the room. We'll have to go back to the video, but I'm sure that that we saw a nice Leonard Fournette autograph. It was just him, jersey and auto, maybe. I forget what kind of card it was. I I, I don't even remember what break it was, but I remember thinking, I remember kind of. I, I almost didn't really notice it. I sort of subconsciously kind of said, "Oh, it's all in the sticker too," and I was like, "Wait a second, it's all in the sticker." It, you know, because usually he's off a little bit. He's a rookie. What do you expect? There's Michael Dupree, Malachi Dupree, 103 out of 150. Check that. That is for. That's for the Packers. Oh, do I need more? 
was 75. So hang on a second. No, those aren't it. Yeah. So close. I was going to make it to the end of the break without those, but. Oh, was it Prism, Jackie? For that one? The Leonard Fournette auto? Yeah, maybe it was. I forgot. Oh, does Coop still have. Oh, yeah, I actually didn't read the injury report. Is that concussion lingering? That's scary. Questions freak me out. Oh, run CMC, two color patch and autograph. Nice. 96 out of 100. That strong hit is going to Ed Aarons. I don't think I called Ed's number all break. But there you are. That's a good one at that, at the very end. McKee saying, well, Coop and Crab have the drop sees anyway. You know what? It doesn't matter if, if they get like 80 targets a game. It's volume at that point. Rookie Reflection, Kareem Hunt, Return of the Mac Marlin Mac, 15 out of 25. That's a randomizer at the end. So we'll have a few randomizers to do. All right, well, if not, fire up Seth Roberts. Fire up Jared Cook in your daily fantasy lineups if both Coop and Crabtree are out this week. I don't even know who the who are the who are my Raiders playing this week. Should we, should I be concerned? No, oh, we're facing the Giants, the New York Football Giants. I'll be okay. We'll be okay. At home too, I think. Fabian Moreau, out of one ninety nine. That'll go out to uh, Michael and the Redskins. Top loader broken. It is. This one's better. And the last bit here. This was a nice break. There's Davis Webb speaking of the New York Football Giants, who my Raiders will be seeing next football week. This will go to Adam and the Jets. <laughs> Dylan's, I was not. Hey, listen. I have no hate. I have no hate for the Giants. I just want to beat them. You know, and and the Giants are. This season kind of beatable. But Dylan's like, beat us though, because we want to court. What, what's wrong with what's wrong with this guy, Dylan? Is that that, that guy not even gonna give that guy a shot? Alright. The last two in case cards, Demarius Thomas to 100. Rod Smith and Demarius Thomas on that one. That'll go to the Broncos, a little opposite Joe Mojo to Luke. Yeah, Dylan wants a draft pick. He's like, I want the Raiders to beat us, too. I think they should. I think they should. And you like that with Joe Theismann. Out of 100 for Steel for Michael Gallucci. There you go. All right. A couple randomizers to do. All right. So let's, uh, let's go back to the list. Let's get... Random.org fired up. We need some dice. We need one, two, three, four blank lists. One, two, three, four. First one will be for the points. Everyone gets a shot at the little points there. 150 points. Next one are the matching numbers left and right. Next one will be, we'll do rookie reflection. Steelers. And Jaguars, and the other rookie reflection is uh, Chiefs and Colts. All right, and we'll randomize each list four times: three and a one, one, two, three and a one. Four times. Uh, Luke with the 150 points. There's no doubt about it. You had the top two spots, so that goes to you. Three and a one, four times for left and right. One, two, three, and a one. After four times, right side gets it. So all the teams on the right side will be getting the
these uh, matching numbers inserts. Steelers Jags for this uh, rookie reflection four times one, two, three, and four. Steelers will get that one. Steelers, that'll go to Jackie. 21 out of 25. Nice, congrats. And the last one is Kareem Hunt and Marlon Mack. Chiefs and Colts. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Chiefs, X line with that. The X line with the Kareem Hunt and Marlon Mack out of 25. And there you have it, folks. That's the break. That was uh, Pick Your Team Number 4 from jazbeeshobbyland.com of 2017 Illusions Football. Check out the website for more. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.